G'day guys and welcome to another video here at my house and we um, Yesterday's vlog we got the 370z sorted. I think we're gonna get that car off to an alignment in this vlog um, I've just had some parts arrive. One of the things when I went to the Cape I uh, destroyed my jockey wheel um, Well, it was one of many things I destroyed at the Cape, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this new jockey wheel on I got recommended this certain jockey wheel that's meant to be extreme off-road it's got two sets of wheels i don't know i don't know it's like 200 and something bucks and it's meant to be the bee's knees so i'm gonna go ahead and rip the old dodgy one off because it is just absolutely destroyed um had to bring jack home from the track i don't know if i mentioned i actually had a jack stolen from the track someone stole one of my jacks so that's frustrating had to order a new jack, so I got another new jack. I want to open that up and take a look in a sec. I can't even remember what kind I ordered. Um, but let's go ahead and get this uh, trailer sorted out because it's been sitting on a horrible angle since I moved it back here, since we'd been doing all the work in the front yard. So I'm gonna go ahead, give her a bit of a jack up, rip this one off, get the new one on and then hopefully set the height properly so my trailer's not sitting horribly and all that sort of jazz, so. Wish me luck. All right, trailer is officially sorted out with a new jockey wheel. The new jockey wheel is awesome. Got it up at the height that I want it. You know, it's level. So if the kids want to do a little camping adventure out the front to forward fold, so I can literally fold that thing out right there. The kids can play in it if they want to. Um, obviously, I've got a trailer lock on it anyway, but it facing down the driveway, you quite literally need to drive a full drive down into my camera well into my garage area i've got multiple camera i've got one camera that points directly at my trailer and another one pointing in here um so like if you, any way shape or form you tried to get to my trailer you couldn't like it's bloody hard to get out of where it is when it's your own so i'm um, pretty comfortable with it there um now what i need to get onto is I've sent their message out to the guys at the alignment shop to see if they can squeeze me in to get the 370 aligned. Otherwise, I've got a new jack. I wanna crack this thing open. Um, like I said, I had a jack stolen from the track and it was a bit of a bummer, you know what I mean? Bit pretty disappointing more than anything being the uh, owner of the track and having something taken. It was while I was on holiday, so it must be one of the private sessions. Someone could have done it by accident, I don't know. But I had to get a new home jack. I, I took the other home jack to the track and I ordered this one a while ago. I just can't actually remember what kind I ordered. So I'll crack her open now and have a gaze. All right, that's funny. It literally looks exactly the same as the one, my other jack in every way, except for a different brand. So I'd say they'd probably just come out of the same factory. Um, aluminium jack though, two and a half ton. 
it's exactly what I need. They're nice and low profile. I don't use a jack a whole lot here around the house, but the times when I do need it, it's very frustrating if I don't have a jack. So yeah, I am gonna order the second hoist sometime in the near future um, to get a bit more space around here and to be able to work on sort of two cars at once. I find that I'm getting held up a lot these days by sort of either not having the cash spare to order the parts or ordering the parts and they're not in stock sort of thing. So yeah, having two hoists and like the hoist is cheap, man. So if I can get a second hoist in, be able to have two, two cars up and be tinkering with either depending on what parts I have and things like that. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can get this 370Z off to an alignment. Right, day two of this video now, guys. You can see the 370Z is on the back. We are finally on the way to that wheel alignment that I was talking about. So I'm pretty keen to get there and see where this car's at. I always love going to a wheel alignment to just see where my eye alignment's at. Cause you know, I feel like I've got a pretty good eye alignment on me, but um, you know, sometimes I've gone to alignment shops. It's happened a few times in my life where we literally put it on the machine and took it straight off. Like my eye alignment was spot on. So we'll see how we go today with this one. But we're gonna be there in a sec. Two of uh, our new volunteers down at the track that actually work at this um, tire shop and said, come down, check it out and get a wheelie. Pretty pumped. And then we're gonna go work on the Baraptor. We've got some bigger tires to go on the front of that and new engine mounts. So I'm super pumped to take that thing for a test this weekend. Hold the bumper just when it comes down. The yeah, handbrake. <laughs> the Didn't I take both things off? Slowly. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> I only took one pin out. <laughs> All right, before we go in and check out where my eye alignment is, have a look at this. Daily driven, right? Yeah, daily driven. <laughs> daily driven, what are they, 31s or 30s or something? I think they're 31. 30, 30 or 31, oi. This is a bit of me. So, so he's got a, he's also got a Supra as well, which was 2J and now he's done a V8 swap. So that'll be interesting, we'll have a look at that soon, but. <laughs> Go the wax. All right, I'm not allowed in the factory, so I'm gonna give Joel, give you to Joel, and he's gonna show you some of the numbers. All right, we'll, we'll go have a look then. We, we've got Jack onto it today, because I'm injured. Um, he has nine mil toe in left rear, 14 mil toe in right rear. Nearly a positive degree of camber, negative degree of camber, so we're gonna Zero these two out. Try and get these as close to 10 aside as we can. We should be happy for the rear. Oh, went the wrong way. And with the front, we're gonna match this side because that's where we want it all. So we're just gonna make this side the same and we should be laughing after that. Looks like the boys are finished. Um, we had to compromise a little bit with the rear end, so I've gone with pretty aggressive toe in at the rear, like 18mm solid. 
but I'll let him take the camera again and sort of explain to you guys what they've done. All right, what do we got? Put it up here. We have got, where are we? Uh, we so that's where you were. Uh, final value, so six mil a side front. You can see that properly. Camber, I need to do something about the right side. I've definitely got more camber on the right than the left. Um, that's just an easy upper arm. Yeah, and rear, 19 mil a side. Big grip, big grip. Yeah, so 19 mil a side and zero camber. So, should be spicy. Yeah, well, we run out of tail adjustment, so it should be fine. <laughs> yes, excellent. But that's part of keeping the uh, stock spring hangers. But I prefer them for the strength and everything and the feel of the suspension. So, Brad. All right. Thanks, lads. All right. All right. Get out of here, head to the track, and play with my off-road Falcon. Okay. That's what I'm going to do now. See you guys. All right, so we're gonna to head to the track now. Empty, uh, empty. Take the 370Z off the trailer um, and start working on the Baraptor. I did order some tires for the tires for the Baraptor, um, but they were too big, so we're gonna swap them over and get something more suitable for the front. All right, down the track now. The old B Baraptor here. Um, I've gone and got the right size tires now. Went and done that off camera. They're like a light truck off-road tire. I don't know, I'll show you guys in a sec. We'll get this car over there. And uh, hopefully we'll still be able to turn and stuff with the bigger muddies on the front. All right, so these are our new tires. They're quite thin, which I think is gonna be good. They are, yeah. Look, we're definitely gonna have to do, we're definitely gonna have to do some guard work and some hitting and banging. I reckon we can get this to work though. I had 33s on the front of the old one and it still went pretty well. So, see how these go. And then uh, we may have to get the grinder out. Okay, scratch that. The tires I got before, for some reason they accidentally sold me 15s instead of 16s. So I got these ones for the front now. Um, essentially the same size. So we'll give it a whirl. They're just slightly smaller than a 31. 35s rear. I didn't want to go too big on the front because the problem I had with the old Baraptor is the front tires jamming up on stuff. So I don't want to make the same mistake this time. I'll chuck these on. I'll have to do some cutting, some clearancing to make these work. But when they do, I think they'll obviously work better than the 33 we did. did. All right, 31s are now on. I'll lower it down. <laughs> Definitely looks cooler, but I need to uh, do some guard work there. Definitely. Um, let's drive it around, see what it, uh, how badly it rubs. So there's a minor bit of rubbing. Ugh. Yeah, there's definitely some rubbing. I think I might see if I can uh, drive it up the wall. <laughs> it's starting to drive up the wall, guys. Go on, drive up the wall. Yes, it's driving up the wall. It's literally driving up the wall, guys. <laughs> oh. I'm trying. Oh. Yes, go, 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 drive up the wall, drive up the wall. Oh. Driven it some of the way up the wall. Oh, wow, it just went very sideways. I'm scared. All right, I'm gonna stop here because I think I'm on top of the wall. Oh, there's the door. Um. Yeah, well, I just drove on top of the wall. Um. <laughs> the Falcon works so well. Holy crap, I literally just drove it straight up the wall. Those new front tires. Where's the back tire? Oh, look at the flex on it. Well, I 
it's actually not too bad at all. I need to still get some spaces, I reckon, for the front. Do a little bit of work, but overall, can't complain with that. Well, I'm going to strap it down. Uh, we've got a drift event on tonight. At the end of that night, I'm going to take this thing home. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to do some more cutting, some more uh, negotiating with a hammer to get a bit more clearance happening on the front there. That first little test, pretty damn good, man. This thing is surprisingly capable. I think this is going to... I think my quest to get up Little Red, I think we'll, I think we'll definitely make Little Red. Man, I feel like with the pressures low enough, We'll definitely be able to get most of the way up Big Red, I reckon. It'll just be the exit that'll be a bastard. We'll probably need to be like winched out of, but man, thing just makes me smile. Hey, I'm pumped. I hope you guys are. Baraptor episode coming soon with us actually getting this thing off road and giving it a good proper test. So uh, yeah, thanks heaps for watching. Don't forget to check out the store, lukefink.com. Grab yourself some merch, support the channel. Otherwise guys, Peace out, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.